What's up everyone? Today we'll be doing a plugin review. Uh, this one is going to be by Abrant DSP. They had a bundle deal. I think it was like 35 bucks. You get all three plugins. So you get Digitalis, Shapeshifter, and Sketch Cassette. This isn't a tutorial on how to use it. I'm just gonna show you guys how I use it. And I use it like a dummy, you know? Tons of presets, playing with knobs. So that being said, let's go check it out. So we're here in Logic Pro X and I have this loop that I made which will also be in my new loop pack coming out very soon. Um, goes something like this. So it's got nothing on it so far. So uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna you open a digital. It's like a, an Effectrix on crack. It's so there's so much to do in this plug. First thing I did was open up some presets. I used this pulsing preset for this particular loop. So here's your drop down for your presets. They got, uh, I mean, they got so many presets. This one's kind of like a bad quality. <laughs> which is funny that they named it YouTube's MP3. They got some movement, they got rhythmic. All super cool. So I, I, I'm a big fan for movement type plugins. I actually have outputs, movement. I have uh, Effectrix, so the one I have. Oh, M Rhythmizer, also have Shaper Box. All four are great, and I think that they all do something a little different. A lot, lot of similarities, but a lot of diff a lot of things different but this plugin right here man it's got it's got so much so so let's dive in say we just go into this internet hello right preset so when i start this um it tells me right here that i can clear this hello right little did i know that this is a drawing so if you clear it it has no no fill right and as I draw something, it changes the automation, which is pretty freaking cool. And you could change like the background that you can color on. So this, you know, prints, different prints that all mean something else. Then over here, you have your decimate, which is, this is your bit crushing section. Um, so let's just go to like this one, okay. Let's turn this intensity down. This is the mix, by the way, for this little LFO. Over here is your, your bit crushing, so. It could be something cool to automate. Here's your smooth. And I thought this was super cool. This is like your glitchy stuff. So let's turn. Let's get like a... Let's go like... Melodic. Here's the width, tone, dropouts. We've all seen this before in plugins like uh, RC20. So you also have pitch formats. This telecommunication, or yeah, telecommunications section is super dope. It's like, so it's kind of just spazzing and cutting out. And then, <laughs> then they have the sequencer. You can do time and change these, turn certain ones off, on and off, add more. This plugin right here is worth the 35 bucks. Next is a shapeshifter, which is a, this is a compressor. Not really much to say here. Basic compressor, sounds great. Tons of presets, quick and easy compression. Sometimes you, I just wanna open, open something up, put a bright and shiny preset on, and let it rock. So this this does it does everything for you. It's so good, sounds so good. So that's that, that's Shapeshifter. And lastly, the plugin we all know, we all love, the alternative to RC20. Even though I feel like there's stuff in Digitalis and Shapeshifter that are kind of in RC20 that can like, like as far as like the compression. And then you get a whole retro 
plug in aside from all that stuff like how can you beat that it's just awesome it's it's it sounds great tons of presets everything you need tons of types um also love this whole set's artwork the artwork is just amazing animations are amazing i love when the team just really thought about the entire plugin and how it's gonna look and perform and animate and on top of it just sounds great so this is honestly just a no-brainer why we should have picked this up for 35 bucks. I mean, it. Even if, if this was if it was seventy-five dollars for the bundle, I would definitely buy this bundle. So, so as you can see here, just tons of different settings, tons of different styles of tape, and yeah, that's. That's it, that's these plugins in a nutshell. Here's all three of them turned on. Beautiful plugins, just beautiful plugins, so. Highly recommend. My personal favorite is the Digitalis. There's so much for me to explore in this plugin and just seems like it might be my go-to glitch plugin. So that's gonna be the video. I hope I convinced you to pick up these plugins. Um, I wonder if they're still on sale, I'm not sure. Um, I got these last week, they were on sale, but regardless, if they're on sale or not, go pick these up, go support these guys. They make awesome plugins. Thanks for watching the video. I would really appreciate it if you would uh, like, comment, and subscribe, help the channel, and it would help me. So until next time, peace.